Hello everyone, welcome to this EGU 2022 short course on crafting beautiful maps with PyGMT. My name is Weiji and on behalf of the PyGMT team, uh, we're excited to show you over the course of the next one and a half hours uh, what you can use PyGMT to do. So from things like making pretty maps and figures, uh, working with data from various in various formats um, in the Python Python data ecosystem and various geospatial data processing tools, or if you just want to make a fancy 3D uh, visualization, uh, we can show you how to do that too in the coming tutorials. Uh, so first things first, uh, what you want to do is have access to the course materials. So if you scan the code on this QR code on the top here, or visit our website, which is www.generic-mapping-tools.org slash egu22pygmt. Uh, so if you either scan that QR code on top or visit this website, you should be able to access this uh, Jupyter book website uh, where all of the course content is available. Yep, and I'll give you a brief outline on what you will be learning in this, in this tutorial. Uh, this short course. So first thing first, uh, Leo, Leo will be showing you how to uh, make your first PyGMT map. So if you're new to PyGMT or you would like a refresher, uh, Leo will show you how to lay down things like a base map or a coastlines and uh, configure your map frame and set things like map titles or color bars to give you that sort of like an, inform uh, an information rich map which you can use um, for a poster or like a publication. Next, Max will be showing you how you can use data uh, in like a Geo Pandas GeoData Frame format or an X-ray data array, how you can um, load all of that into Python and then have PyGMT plot data from those, uh, sorry, in those data structures. And they will also be using um, Panel to show you how you can make an interactive um, plot. So sliding through like different ocean depths uh, to to render, um, you know, ocean, ocean temperature at different levels. So they will be showing you how to do that in the second tutorial. Uh, next, Andre will be showing an example from Mars. So somewhere uh, on a different planet. Uh, this is this particular example is over Mount Olympus or Olympus Mons. Uh, the highest mountain on Mars, I think. And uh, this this is a cool sort of 3D shaded uh, perspective view of um, that, that mountain. And another thing you'll be learning in this tutorial is how to make an overview inset map. So you can have the whole uh, Mars sort of globe here and plot a red bounding box of just the location of interest. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out this third tutorial. And finally, I'll be leading uh, the final tutorial on turning LiDAR point clouds to a 3D digital surface elevation model. So this is an example over uh, Wellington, where we'll be taking data, open data from open topography and then uh, turning that point cloud into running it through a few pre-processing steps and then producing a raster grid uh, output or like a GeoTIFF output at the end. So stay tuned if you're interested in uh, doing that. Okay, so that's just an overview of um, the tutorials we'll be doing today. Uh, if you want to run these tutorials, there are two main ways you can do that. Uh, the easiest and probably the quickest way is you can visit one of these um, web pages. So say you want to visit the first and then anatomy um, of a PyGMT figure tutorial. Uh, if you hover over the right, this rocket icon on the top right, uh, it should give you this button, uh, Launch Binder. So if you click on that, that should take you to a Binder web page. And what this does is it will load um, a Jupyter Notebook instance. Uh, it might take a few minutes in your case. For me, it just takes um, a few seconds. Hopefully it's as fast as that for you. And once you're in this sort of web page, uh, you can run your Jupyter Notebook sales. So you can run the sale to import PyGMT. 
And a useful thing to check is you can use this command called pygmt.showVersions. So pygmt show versions will print out a list of all the dependencies which are installed, uh, which pygmt cares about. So we'll be using version 0.6.1, uh, pygmt version 0.6.1 for this short course and Python 3.9. And also um, a list of other uh, scientific libraries are listed here as well. So make sure when you're running this, um, going over this short course material that you have versions that are compatible with um, this list. Okay, so that's how you can get started uh, quickly. Another way is if we go back to the first page, uh, another way is to run these um, notebooks is by running it locally. So if you go to this running the notebooks locally section, you should be able to uh, follow the instructions here. You need to have Conda or Mamba, which is a faster Conda replacement. I do recommend using Mamba if you can. Uh, if you have those package managers, you can uh, install everything from this environment.yml file. So you can download it from this our GitHub page here and put that in the folder called eg22pygmt. And then you want to run this command Conda env creates dash dash name egu22 pygmt dash dash file environment.yml. So this will install all of the dependencies within this environment.yml file. And once that installation has completed, uh, you can make sure that you conda, do a conda activate egu22 pygmt. This will make sure that you're within that virtual conda environment and then launch JupyterLab from there. And that should give you a page similar to um, this as well. But instead of running on the cloud hosted instance, we'll be running things locally. Oh, and without further ado, um, that's all from me. You can uh, stay tuned to see what Leo will teach you for the first, um, first tutorial. Cheers.